In September 2019, C4 arranged an exchange visit to the Mount Kenya region where representatives of the Water Resource Users Associations and Community Forest Associations from the Mao and Mount Elgon forests in Kenya joined representatives from the Water User Committees and Collaborative Forest Management Groups from Uganda, where the Water Towers project has been implementing activities, to see and discuss livelihoods and rehabilitation projects that the local Rura and CFAs are doing. When I was growing up, the forest was almost bare. We had lots of uh, bare land without trees. And uh, when the CFA began, that was in the year 2007, that is when I started feeling some improvement. The forest started getting recovered. The purpose of this exchange visit was for us, especially from Uganda, to know how people from Mount Kenya are doing in forestry and water control. We want to learn what they are doing and their successes stories and their challenges. The livelihood projects or activities that we have include a fish pod, we have a hachale and a tree nursery. So these ones are supposed to ensure that there is sustainability of the activities even after flooding is over. The activities that we have here in Gadiro are the Paris, that is planting establishment livelihood scheme, which we are farming as we are planting trees. So people produce food and the forest gain the trees. Then we also have some grazing. We lay our livestock in our forest, then people will get the, the milk and the meat. They are learning uh, about how to prepare seed beds and how to prevent diseases in nursery, how to prepare soil, how to prepare the manure, and also using equipment like watering can. It's good because there are exchanges uh, the ideas so that they can go and uh, rehabilitate Mount Aragon and other mountain or the forest so that they can be able to conserve their forests. Another activity is that we protected water springs, 10 of them all over our catchment. And that one also helped the community because the springs were protected, they were getting clean water. So waterborne diseases reduced. And this one, we do this activity, we collaborate, like the Ministry of Agriculture, Fishery, Forestry, they help us. And now that one is about a quarry. But after doing away with the, that site, they look for soil, good soil, and they replace there and plant uh, trees there to, to recover for that area to be in good uh, condition. We are also privileged to have a value addition unit for potatoes. We have modern facilities. And uh, when we get a proposal, that has been funded. We also set aside some money that will be used for rehabilitation. And we work together with Dwarwa and Warmas, the associations that deal with water, to see where do we rehabilitate, where do we put some setup that will assist in resource the, this water. There are various workshops that have been held, management especially of finances, administrative management so that uh, there is transparency and accountability in what they do. Uh, representation is supposed to be spread across the whole area. It is supposed to be gender sensitive and uh, also the youth are supposed to be included. We also discussed about the various issues that come with the administration of the rewards and CFAs governance issues, the conflict resolution. We did also look at uh, what we have actually implemented, the challenges and successes in the implementation of those activities. I've seen wonders. I've seen quarry in the forest. I've seen the Rua and the CFA working together. I saw a dam built by the Ruas and it is doing well for income generating. We need also to apply this activity at our area. We have some similarities with the challenges. 
we have problem with the rates of uh, of taxing those who are grazing in the forest and even the mobilization of members to enroll in in the CFA and the, and the rules is also a challenge here in Kenya we have learned a lot and we have got more which we, we can take to our people they have developed many um, projects which help people who are being relocated from the forest. And then another thing which I have learned from here is that they have uh, managed to do their plans well so that they have got the proposals done and they have got f um, uh, help from the donors, unlike in our area. In Murinkato CFV area, and then Muringato Water Resource Users Association area. I realized that they were friends from the word go, because every part on the site of Rua and CFA understand the keen interest of protecting the forest and water. What is done on the left-hand side is also known on the right-hand side. But we in our area did not know that members of the Water Resource Users Association used to work differently and even distantly from the CFA members. So when we come here as leaders, those behind us, which are very many, shall also get that knowledge when we take it home back, not only for the, the, the immediate generation, but for the future generation. It is always good to visit other places and uh, compare yourself with those other places. Because when they came from Uganda, they saw different things that are not actually being practiced in Uganda. And when they go back, they take new ideas. We also get new ideas from this exchange program. When we see what they are planning to do with the knowledge they acquired here, we also see that whatever we have in Gadiro Forest will also be taken to other places. And uh, when I look at the future to come, and the trend we are on when it comes to forest conservation, protection, there is a great improvement and I see a promising future when it comes to the forest and the natural resources around the forest. The beauty will return to its original state.